Welcome to Wednesday, welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, where we play new games on classic consoles, except when they're broken, and you're watching <laughs> oh, no. at 60 frames a second, so make sure you crank it up to 60 frames a second, or you're going to miss a bunch, because the Atari works at 60 frames a second. That's right. Remember all those intervening years in the 90s and 2010s <laughs> and 2000s, where it's like... Oh, we can get us 30 frames a second. It's like, <laughs> oh, now it's dipping down to 20 frames. And no, it it was the original one at 60 frames a second. And, you know, now that's like the low benchmark for, yeah. for like PC games. If, if you're below that, people start complaining. Which is hilarious because yeah. yeah, games used to be 24, but I, I don't know what happened. I guess. <laughs> I wonder what the highest frame rates there are now. I mean, oh, maybe a, way up over 100. Yeah, yeah I yeah, guess yeah. for sports and like if you're doing like fast action things, it makes a big difference. Oh yeah, the graphics yeah, yeah. as well probably yeah. look a lot better. Yeah, and it, like I don't know, you don't play first-person shooters. I, think I used that, to a bit, but like yeah. I've never been like a hardcore. I, I stopped like at three quarter view RPG. That's stuff, right, and that does not need the high frame rate. No. no. I used to do some hardcore Call of Duty stuff because my old roommate was super into it, like Black Ops 2. Okay. We used to play a lot of. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, is those games are just like. Like, the people who... I feel like the first week that the game comes out, you have a chance. Yeah. But if you play a game with, like, the veterans, you just get creamed. Yeah. Destroyed. They 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 know every map. That's, they know every Yeah. Move. You can't be learning maps on these people. <laughs> it's like no. these people are beyond learning the map. Oh, God. Well beyond. And and the, the, the people coming in that are really good. I've already practiced on 20 other first-person oh, shooters yeah. before that. So they're just, like slightly adapting to the quirks of this new game anyway we're not here to play those new games we're here to play old new games well new old games that's right new games on old consoles um so the ones we are going to be playing today i can't hear you guys to say what is that what check check showing up here yeah uh can everybody else yeah hear give us, us? Turn on your speakers. There I can. Go. Okay, okay, that's okay, good, good. To, good to hear. Whew. Raymond, turn on your speakers. Did you hear the music beforehand? No. Maybe. Maybe you need to turn up. Yep, volume's good. Thank you. Good, good, good. It's okay. Just, it's just you, Raymond C. Sorry. Only the person whose game we're having the world debut oh, for. Oh, God, Raymond. No big deal. Come on, Raymond. Get your stuff sorted out. You have a lot of time before we play your game. Um, I'm yeah. checking my Reboot. Okay, good. Reboot everything. Check your speakers. Um, so we're going to be playing his game first. It's called oh, sick. The End 2600. It is an arcade port. He came wow. out of nowhere. He's not made, I uh, don't think he's made any uh, 2600 games before. <laughs> Twitch no. defaults to muted. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, damn. click on your mute That's button. hilarious. Well, I guess it's better than like blasting you. Yeah, destroying yeah. your speakers. So we have the world exclusive premiere of his game. The end, 2600. Thank you so much, Raymond C. He's also, uh, his name's Carlos, and he's Raymond C. on the Atari Age forums. The second game we're going to be playing is Heist. It's the 2019 final release of the game, unless he finds some big bugs. Uh, we're going to be playing Marble Madness from 2011, and I thought this was an important game to show off. Okay, cool. Because I want it to continue. So hopefully this will kick them into gear. Um, and we're going to be rounding it off with Kelly Kangaroo, a 2018 work in progress, which I've been avoiding because it doesn't work well on real hardware. Okay. We're not using real well, hardware yeah, it's, now. Yeah, it's the perfect time to be doing so it. So I've been, it's been waiting in the wings since last year, so I thought, that's eh, time to get it over with. And I want to thank all the people who are showing up here today in the chat. RC70, Raymond C, Pac-Man Red. Uh, Carl G, Splendid Nut, uh, Ice Bosta. S. Ramirez is here, PH4, man. S. Ramirez, who just resubscribed. Thank you so much. Great news, dude. Speaking of resubscribing, here are Twitch sub subscribers right now. Uh, Boil Over, Census Taker, Coconut81, Dietrich Harms, Gretem's Ice Bosta, Johnny WC23, Carl G, Matthias J.G. Santos, M.K. Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, RC70, Repentless VG, Sir Cat Like, Spiceware, S. Ramirez 2008, Tiki Dan K. And you can subscribe as well. Hey, Dios jo Kilos, you're here too, and man. And Dios Kilos snuck in at the last second. You can subscribe and support us as well for free. If you have Amazon Prime, link it to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe. You can get your name read out and on the screen over 
by Erlen over there, who's a little bit... Uh, we're both injured today. Yeah, we'll actually. talk about that. We'll get into that when we get into the games. Um, yeah, we've been injured. It's, yeah. it's rough. But we're here. We made it. And I was off last uh, Friday because of the injury, but we'll get to that. Um, for the mail news and feedback, some updates for the Atari Awards. Atari Homebrew Awards 2019 edition. We're going to uh, celebrate all the games that came out in 2019. Wow. Um, the awards, the trophies, have arrived at my P.O. box. They're ready to be picked up. Yay, fixed it, man. That's good news. Oh, good. Excellent. Um, so I, I ordered them. Uh, they don't ship to Canada. They ship to the U.S. only. So I have a P.O. box in the U.S. that I have to go pick them up at. Um, so I'm really looking forward to check, checking them out and showing them to you guys when they get here. Um, or when I pick them up, they're already there waiting for me. And the award certificates have been ordered as well. And I have set a 99% date for the award show. Fuck yes! It's going to be on Saturday, February 1st, 2020. Um, I know Darcy's good. I'm probably uh, good, man. Tanya's good. You're probably good. I'm sure, like, I'll just... You can book the date off now. <laughs> yeah, man. Don't have anything set. plenty for... of notice. <laughs> you have four months it's, ahead. It's not like it's last minute. <laughs> no, I like to plan well ahead so everybody knows out there. So I'll just have to put it down and make sure I don't do anything else yeah, there. That's the only thing. Don't do anything at the same time. So everybody out there, but Saturdays February are 1st. Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I like, I like Saturdays. It's good for us. Um, usually good for people and good for Atari, mm. too. Come here. Come on up. Come on. Come hey, on, Hey, buddy. Come say hi. There we go. Here's Atari. He's ready for some gaming. He is, man. And this um, guy. So I'm literally looking for the Atari Awards, Atari Homebrew Awards. We've included the 7800 games and Atari 8-bit slash 5200 games this year as well. And we're going to be celebrating the 4K and under games. Best 4K and under games, a new category that we added. So that's exciting. That's great news. You know, all those uh, smaller games, smaller, really well-honed games are going to have their own category now. Um, Andrew Davey posted in the forums that his game Sokobu, remember that one, the yeah, block-moving yeah. block one? It now works on the plus cart. And what the plus cart is, and we discussed it briefly, and I might go in depth a little bit later into it, um, it is a cartridge that can run, that plugs into your system, that can run games, but it also connects up to the internet for various things. And uh, he said, in a possible world first, Sokobu running on the plus cart can now download new levels from the internet, wow. tested and working. So he is got his game working with the plus cart so you can and you can do a bunch more other things actually i'm going to go into it here it says uh this one is interesting thanks al nafur for his hard work on this one if you're running sokobu on the plus cart this is automatically detected that is there's only one sokobu binary that's smart enough to figure out what to do in the situation sort of anyway the plus cart your high score code is automatically sent to the plus store which then checks to see if you have a registered name with the cart id the name, if available, and the code is then sent to the website above, and I'll show that on the screen in a second. Uh, uh, that is the high score site. So playing on the plus court, cart, you also get your name and score automatically entered in the high score table online. So wow. playing his game Sokobu, your high scores are automatically put on the internet. That's pretty cool. If you put your name in. and um, So I'm guessing the uh, plus carts are... Uh, has have IDs, individual IDs on them, or you put your own ID. I'm not sure how that works yet. Or you sign up for an ID. It says the extra special feature on the Plus Cart version is that you can download extra levels from the Plus Store. It's a free thing. Levels uh, are and will be encoded with difficulty, so you should be able to choose easy, hard kids. I can add extra levels easily through the online interface. Dude, even the kids one is hard. That's a tough game. That's a really challenging game. Like, I wouldn't even like doing the hard version of that. <laughs> Damn. Like, some of them have hundreds of moves yeah. per level. And, and, then if you, and then if you want to try to do, like, the minimum amount of moves, like, you can, yeah. it's like, Jesus. Then even, that's another uh, challenge for that. Uh, I can add extra levels easily through an online interface. This is tested working for a single level download. So I'll need to add the, mechan the mechanics for multiple level selections. So that will be 
but that will be a cinch. So let's take a look at his high score table that he has online here. Uh, let me wow. switch that over. There you can see, uh, you can switch between, you can enter your own score, I guess. You can, yeah, he hasn't linked that up yet, um, but you can play online. Uh, that opens to the store. Atari that's, age store. That's cool, though. I'm sure it's going to open to his store eventually, or his cart. And here's all the um, the different levels. And I guess this is level zero, so it is zero. Uh, ten would be ten moves. I think so. Thirteen moves. Ten moves. Yeah. Uh, number is that the one, minimum amount that you can do? I think that's the high score. Whoever ah, that is, is the high ah, score. So if you can do it in like that amount, you're killing it. Yeah, so if you can beat 10, 5, 8, and I'm guessing the number 2 is the person who did it. Ah. I'm sure these are all just test random random Things numbers moment, right now. Yeah. And then the bottom one is how long it took you to do it. So One took seconds. like an hour. Damn. These might all be just defaults. An hour, an hour, or 50. two hours. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't surprise me, I... though. These are not easy. No, let's see. Hour 17. I'm not sure what the red or the green is because they don't seem to correspond with, like, 13 moves in an hour. I think these are random. Yeah. Like, three moves in an hour? No. To yeah. finish that? No. But I think these are just random put in here. But it's very, very, very cool um kind of concept oh there's everybody's twitch uh if i remember correctly it's based on the uno card i think it is that's the base and he's he's built up this new plus card from the uno card and added things on um but it has it's got me a little worried this plus card because of a couple aspects yeah. um there's no sd card in it so you can't put your own games on it um, as far as I know, all games are loaded remotely, so you have to download them from the internet. Yeah, that's, uh... And those two, com that combination of both of those things are like... Mm. It's the new era, but at the same time, it's also like, we're playing classic games, man. Yeah. That's like why we go back to these things, so we don't have to do all this Steam bullshit. Yeah, and the Plus Store is hard... You can set up your own server, okay. You can always set up your own server, though. Yeah. It's a it, lot of work. Yeah. For a game. And it's and it says, I read that the Plus Store is hard-coded, but you can set up your own server at the same time. Um, so you can set up your own server, but to buy the games and use the Plus Store interface. It's a good point, though, to, Thrust. Yeah, so I have to do point. a lot of more research into it. You guys can correct me um, online uh, about more about the Plus Cart, but I haven't looked into it because there's a big thread... And I and it's, there's conflicting information even between um, Andrew Davy and the developer too. Andrew Davy oh, yeah. saying one thing and the developer's correcting him. So I'm I can't I can't sort it out yet just yet. And I'm not gonna get one until like a lot of this has calmed down. Yeah. And, and things are a bit more sorted out. Plus, there's no games right now for it except Sokobu, and I don't think that version mm -hmm. has even been released. Uh, I only briefly followed it too. Okay. And the cons can the server be a local server in your house? I'm guessing it, Mu hopefully. it must be, yeah. I mean, an IP address is an IP address. It doesn't matter if it's locally or out there. Um, there are two uh, Galagon label designs for sale next week. Fuck yeah, man. So Galagon is supposed to be in the store next week. Uh, that's what Al is saying. Um, Maybe delayed, but it's supposed to be in the store. So let's take a look at the new uh, two versions of the let me get my notes i don't think i no i didn't uh, link that one in oh no that's okay but i've got it here um open up the link there we go and switch that oh i'll have to go small that's fine so here are the two different designs actually i can make it bigger move it over a bit there we go um so it says we've created two different label designs for galagon for the atari 2600 by champ games which is your favorite you'll be able to choose next week in the atari age store so that's great news for people who have been wanting to buy 
uh, Galagon. Well, both those designs look amazing. Right up here. I can't say I like one over the other. They're both pretty cool. If I had to, if I like gun to my head, I think the green one is cool with the, I, I call those I lobsters. Like the, yeah, space lobsters. I'm, I'm into the space lobsters. So it's, one of the cartridges has the front cover on there and then oh, the cool. other one kind of has a the back oh it has a back cover but some of it's um covered by some of the screenshots oh, this is dave drees is he did, did he do the design yes wow good work yeah. man yeah, that's amazing dave drees dave dries something like nobody that. knows <laughs> i mean nobody he does knows. we could just ask that's him that's right <laughs> People rarely say their own name, so it's true. It's hard to get especially that the last about name. It. Yes, uh, but then he suggested to rent a real web server. Then I quit. Oh, <laughs> I like the oh wait wait wait. Let's switch back so I don't have to stare over there. I like the colors, the green one and design of the other one. Yeah, so it's like uh, you like both aspects. Uh, two things, two different things. Um, so let's get into the first game. Yeah, let's do it. Which is a tough day if the, we can. <laughs> challenging day. Uh, this is the end. It's a 2019 game. This is a work in progress exclusive world premiere on Zero Page Homebrew. I want to thank Raymond C, who's in the chat, for allowing us to play his game first. This build is from yesterday. Oh shit! Fresh off the press. The first one he sent me was from November 16th, and I suggested a bunch of things to him and he and he uh, added those in and really improved it qu quite wow. a bit which is really great so it's in a great place and he's right here now. he is here which is awesome and his things working now too which is good yeah you can hear it <laughs> which is great and i'm gonna be playing the games oh this is cold i'm gonna put this down for oh a second. god we're gonna show you the arcade version first okay cool of the game so you can get kind of a handle on what the original arcade was like uh so let's take a look i've got all these queued up today oh perfect man <laughs> it's like clockwork yeah let's see full screen yeah that looks good okay yeah. so let's just turn down the audio on my end here okay let's skip forward to gameplay so it's a space shooter, kind of like Galaxian and Galaga. You're at the bottom. Um, you've got oh, it's a little, it's a little like um, Space Invaders too. Yeah, I mean Space Invaders is the the grandfather of all these types of games. Um, you've got the mothership at the top, sending down the the ships to steal your uh, little bits. Wow. Um, let me read out exactly the instructions from the arcade um, because he hasn't in included any instructions in his game because it's an arcade port it plays pretty much the same so it was released by konami in 1980 the end is an outer space themed first person shooter first person shooter. <laughs> the simplistic arcade game was made in the same tradition as konami Gla uh, classics such as galaxian uh, the music that plays in the beginning is a variation of the theme music from bonanza the uh, the end. Arcade machines were distributed by Stern Electronics. There's only one copycat version named Omega. The end is a one and two player game. I'm guessing alternate alternate uh, playing. The objective of the end is to prevent alien invaders from picking up the blocks that make up three small squares. Damn. When aliens uh, take enough blocks away to create the word end, the game will be automatically over. So it's spelling. Oh, I see. The word end at the top with your blocks, right? Uh, unlike other space-themed shooters of the time, the end allows players to launch m multiple simultaneous shots. Uh, I don't think so. Well, not in this version. <laughs> maybe, in, maybe in his version. Uh, no, not in the 2600 or in the arcade as I, far as I can Interesting. see. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, I know the enemies do. Uh, definitely, oh, both players and enemies move at a speed that's quite fast compared to other games. That's a good point. There are yeah. no individual levels in the end, but the game does progress in a unique manner. At the top of the screen is an alien mothership that both shoots and regenerates alien attackers as they're killed off. If all the enemies are defeated before the dreaded word is spelled out, the players get to participate in a bonus stage. Uh, two, two, two. Icons. Aliens, the brightly colored, fast-moving icons resemble insects that are alien attackers. They fly and grab blocks in an effort to spell out the word the end. 
blocks, the three blue square blocks uh, separate player ship from the alien attackers. They also add um, work as a shield as well. Um, player ship, the blue and red spaceship, and white at the bottom. They can move left and right as well as shoot upwards. Alien mothership, with the upper portion of the screen resides the alien mothership. It will regenerate new attackers to replace those killed off. Um, and the rest is pretty self-explanatory. How to play. Don't get shot. Yeah, try to the kill the guys, things. Protect hide your the stuff. bullets. Yeah. Damn, this so this cool. Is, so this is the arcade. Arcade version of it. So, we're gonna jump into... The actual... New... Game of it. Let's hide that. Hide that. The end. Okay. Oh man, this title screen looks good. Yeah, switch over to that. There we go. Very nice. Okay, let me get you the notes. Lovely. Do you want me to read the whole thing? Um, Let me know. Yep, starting from there. Okay. Wait till you're set. Okay, cool. So this is what um, Raymond C. wrote on November 11th. It says, hello, friends. My name is Carlos, and I live in Lairs of uh, Puerto Rico. I am a computer programmer, and I have been programming computers for more than 30 years. I've been working as an IT manager for 25 years, and part of my job is to make programs in BASIC. As a fan of the Atari 2600, I have been following this site since I discovered it on the internet. When I was 13 years old, I received an Atari 2600 as a Christmas gift. That was in 1981, and since then I realized that I had to be a computer programmer because I needed to know how a video game was made. Years later, I brought my own. I bought. I bought my own Commodore 64 and started learning BASIC. I always wanted to make a video game for the Atari 2600, but I never learned assembly. Um, when I discovered that some of your created Atari BASIC and Visual Atari BASIC, um, uh, I knew that it was my opportunity to do a video game for the Atari 2600, and I did. I have a new homebrew game based on the Konami version of the arcade, of the uh, arcade game The End. I named it The End 2600, which is super apt. Uh, uh, soon, I will be posting more news, pictures, and videos of my new game in the Atari 2600 programming form in the Atari Basic subform. I will keep in touch. Excellent. Also, this is a pretty damn good translation, man. Yeah, it's got the enemies. They look great. It's got the the mothership. It looks great. I think the mothership um, is the most impressive yeah, that translation. Yeah, really, really nice. And there's less. There's less like um uh, bugs on screen. But yeah. that's probably going to scale up. It is. It goes up to six, um, but uh, starts starts simple. And obviously, he's he's probably going to have different uh, different levels. Like this might be the easiest level to start off with. And then it just and then it ramps up, or you can select as it goes. Gets harder. Yeah. Oh man. So what happened to your foot, James? Ah uh, yes. Um, so I. I think we discussed this a little bit last Wednesday, maybe a tiny bit. Um, on 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 Saturday, not this past Saturday, but the Saturday before, just before the video game event, I was taking down some boxes down the stairs. This is the last guy this wave, um, and I couldn't see where I was going because I had boxes up, and. Um, Oh yeah, way more enemies now, man. Yeah, so I think it's like up to four now. I think it adds adds one each time. And um, so I got to the bottom stair and uh, stepped incorrectly. Because Ooh. I think I miscounted the stairs and uh, rolled my foot inward. So rolled my ankle, um, which is uh, not so fun. Um, and so I fell to the ground <laughs> because it's extremely painful. And uh, hobbled my way back upstairs. And, uh, you know, uh, kind of uh, limped for the rest of the night. It didn't seem too bad. I was like, oh, I'm limping. It's not a big deal. And, uh, but then it got really, really swollen the day after. 
Yeah, because we had the um uh the gaming night. Yeah. On the Saturday, right? And even then, I remember looking at it, being like, "Damn, this looks so swollen." <laughs> yeah, I didn't really realize it, and I was walking on it all night when I should have been not walking on it all night. <laughs> should have been resting quite a bit. Yeah. Um. So it it just it ne the swelling never went down, and so I waited till about a Thursday. Um, and then I was like, ah, this is, this is not healing properly. I don't think I gotta, I gotta go see the doctor. And, um, so I phoned my doctor and she wasn't available. Um, cause you phone, phone your own doctor the same day. They're, gonna be, yeah, they're booked up like weeks ahead usually. Which is hilarious. Yeah. But I mean, they're sick people and, um, mine's not a, mine's not an emergency. Right? Yeah. So, and, and then they said, well, you, and they also have an emergency doctor there that kind of just fills in and, and takes on things as they come. But they're, they were booked up, um, but they said phone the next day. So I phoned on Friday morning right away, as soon as they opened. And they got an appointment. And that was the Friday of the show with Darcy last week. Um, so I had to cancel the show, um, unfortunately. One, because I was in uh, quite a bit of pain. And two, because I had to go to the doctor. Um, so it was very swollen, very, fairly painful to walk on, like sensitive. How's it? How's it doing now? Is it like? Um, it is. The swelling has calmed down a bit. It's been almost two weeks, week and a half, I guess. Um, what happened? Uh, on that Thursday and Friday is actually what I thought was bruising like it, it looked really bad there's a lot of, a lot of bruising around the outside edges um, but it wasn't actually bruising it was a bunch of blood set, oh. settling in the bottom around the bottom of my foot oh no um, like just trace like the first top inch and a half of your foot from the ground and just splotches all around like all and so the doctor explained to me, it's like, no, it's, it's, it's just the blood, all the blood that, uh, from the injury is just settling. <laughs> it just made its way down is settling. This is a horrific description of what's going on. Uh, yeah, but it's, ugh, it's, I'm glad they told me because I thought it was like extreme amount of bruising in very strange places. Like it was really strange looking. Um... Anyway, the bruising has gotten better and worse. <laughs> better in some places, but worse in others. It's all over my toes now. So it's made its way to my toes. Um, but I can almost walk normally now. It's just really a very dull ache yeah. all the time. Oh, God. But it's it's getting a lot better. So now we're up to six six guys on the screen. Up on yeah, and there's been lots of questions. So people were saying like, you know, almost no flicker when it displays the three enemies, and I think that's right, eh? It's yeah, it's, it's got really good flicker management. I'm um, I'm guessing the Batari Basic uh, Colonel that he's using is a really good uh, flicker management, and it does uh, only when the guys pass you. Now, if you think about it, and you look on the screen, um, you're at the bottom. You're the only thing that ever is at the bottom. Um, oh, actually, he... No, he hasn't done that. You could... Um, so the only time there is flicker is when there is more than two enemies on the same line. And that doesn't happen too often, and they're moving quite a lot. Um, so it is, it's really good flicker management. So I think he could even put more in oh yeah <laughs> definitely and then also yeah it totally displays the waves that was another thing i mean i'm sure you guys have all seen it at this point but it's pretty cool that it suggests that and they say that on wave five apparently the mothership will come down yes that is, is correct badass. so I'm i think that's the next to... one i think is the next one uh my top score is thirty three thousand. i've been playing this a little bit like helping Damn. helping him uh kind of test out the game that's the uh responsibility you have when you're the only one who has the game <laughs> yeah the definitely world. <laughs> which is lucky but at the same time yeah no there, there's a responsibility there, there too there we go Fifth away wave. five okay this is this badass is oh no it must be six wave six then 
when the mothership comes out. We'll see. They said they said five, but uh, in the chat too. But um, must be six. six five waves. Then the oh, mothership. Ah, that makes sense, man. Yeah. Um. So also he has. Um, I noticed, and and he said it's on purpose that only the pink ones are the ones that grab the blocks. Because in the arcade, all of them grab the blocks. All of them have the possibility of grabbing the blocks. And he said that's a limitation of amount of uh, uh, cartridge space for the the character uh, character graphics. I mean, he could always up up the uh, size of the cartridge. Um, Oh, end of wave five is what Thrust just said. Oh, that makes okay. sense. Yeah. I mean, it is in the title, friends. <laughs> <laughs> the end. Yeah. Um, has anybody seen this in the arcade? I've never even heard of this yeah, game before. Yeah, but I, I haven't. I haven't heard rare. of much, so uh, it's yeah. not. I'm, not, I'm no gauge for that. But this is cool. Very, very, and it's it's pretty high action. I mean, I would say the the first. You know these first five levels it's more about defending your blocks than about getting hit because the bullets that are coming down are very easily avoidable and that is the last guy and we're we'll gonna see this mothership fuck yeah and what you have to do is shoot him in the center that makes sense right in between those bullets yeah. he's firing yeah. the ship looks a little like galagon your ship. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not it's his pretty, ship. It's pretty standard-looking ship for video games in the 80s. Um, most of the most of the ships. Come on. Oh, I'm having so much trouble. There we go. Yay. Got him. 30 points. That's hilarious. <laughs> you destroy a mothership and the... All you... And then you get a bunch of bonus Whoa. for everything you defended. Oh, that's cool. Sixth wave. And if you look at the mothership oh. at the top now... It has all the bugs in it versus when you fought it. Yes. It didn't have any. That's a cool detail. And as it deploys the enemies, the the lines, the colored lines get lower. That so you can kind of get a get a sense of like how well you're doing. Yeah, how far you are in the wave. That's very cool. It's really really amazing. And to see this kind of um, high action, really highly detailed, great game coming out of Batari Basic is showing that people are uh, able to use Batari Basic for really great games now. Uh, it looks like the kernels have just been really, really improved. Of course, I'm, I'm putting that all in Batari Basic. It's the programmers, really, that um, are, are, are the stars of this and, and are able to look at these kernels and go, oh, what can I do with the tools that I'm given? And how how well can I use them? And I mean, Panky the Panda, which is an unbelievable platformer, was done in Batari Basic as well. And it is incredibly complex with the incredible music and level design, and it's a massive, huge game. Um, so it's really about the. And you haven't the died yet, have you? No. <laughs> yeah, you're good at, at this style of games. I would have died like, I probably wouldn't even made it to the first mothership. <laughs> Um, and there's another thing that if you play, you notice the bullets shoot directly down at you. Like it's, they always shoot where you are. So you have to keep moving. Otherwise you're, you're going done. to get hit. So, but if you do keep moving, you're pretty safe. In the arcade, and I've, and I've mentioned it to um, the developer, Sky. See the mothership's empty now? Yeah. Nothing left. Oh, that's such a cool detail. I love that. And it's filled up again. Wave 7, man. Okay, and what was your best PB? It was 33? 33, 33 yeah. yeah. And I'll definitely top that if I'm... I, I think I'll top that now. But now I'm getting cocky, so... Yeah. Now I won't. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be careful saying yeah. things like that, especially yeah. on stream, man. So because the pink guys are the only guys that pick up blocks, what I do is I just aim straight for them. And whoever else gets... The fodder is too bad for them um, because they're the ones who are like destroying your base. So especially while they're carrying it away, that's when you want to get them. 
Anything in the uh, chat? Oh, no, um, well, people are saying mostly the the deal about this like thirty points for killing <laughs> the thing, which I, I do know. agree with. It's but he, um, kind of funny. Rayman said that in the in the um, uh, arcade, it's uh, between ten and a hundred. Oh, um, you what? just get a kind of random. Oh, amount. okay. Hmm. So. That's good he's following the scores of the arcade. Like, you want to keep it as close, especially in scoring. Yeah, that's, that's the, an easy thing that's to That's the set. deal with a port, you know. So I guess probably at the end of level 10, you'll fight the mothership again, right? Uh, no, it would be 12. Oh, okay, cool. Or does it count as a wave? No, it might be at the end of 10. You might be right. Because that, that feels like a clean numerical, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yay, yeah. PB already. Oh, nice. And you got like three lives still. All my lives. Um, in the arcade where the enemies are shooting you, um, they don't shoot directly on you all the time. They oh. shoot kind of to the side sometimes, and I did suggest that to him. I think that would definitely increase the challenge rating of oh, the game. Yeah. Because at the moment, it's like, especially with understanding this AI, yeah. it's a little bit easy to kind of stay alive. But then, then again, it it's like, you know, as it gets higher and higher, they're going to move faster. And I, and I hope he's able to find a way to have all of the enemies pick up um, the blocks. Um, because right now I just shoot the, the pink guys uh, and I just ignore everybody else. But he said it's a, it's a limitation of the size. So maybe somebody can is able to you know, give him some assistance. That makes sense. Because that's the only thing I can find in this game that... It's is... a really good game, man. Yeah. This is minimum. Uh, oh, do you mean maximum is six? Probably maximum. Yeah. Maximum. Right now he's programmed six. I don't know if that's a, a function of the kernel, maybe. Yeah. And so I guess it's a harder game to scale in some ways. Yeah. I'm not sure how many enemies. I, I think there's at least 10 in the arcade. Um, yeah, that sounds about right. It looked like quite a bit. I didn't count them. But it would be nice to get up to the full amount. I think he's done the... Like, the arcade is a vertical game. Like, the screen is um, taller than it is wide, with a lot, just like a lot of the games back in the early 80s. Um, he's done a great job of scaling it down and making it wider than it is high and making it still work really well. Whoa, almost got shot there. So if you keep moving to the left... Pretty safe. <laughs> that's why. That's why I want him to implement the um, the extra defending. Pretty good. Yeah. They've only got one row so far. And at first, I was really worried when I first played this game. Like your um, your shields at the bottom. I thought I was gonna die when they picked up that last block. But it just refreshes your shields. Ah, God. Ah. It makes sense because otherwise, there's no way they'll be able to get completely to spell the end, you know? No. Wave 9. Okay, we're coming up on 10. Nice. He says 11 sprites are possible with DCP+. Plus, nice. Um, DPC+, plus, but 10 are copies of Player 1. Having that many at once would make a uh, worse flicker. Inevitable. Uh, it's pretty good flicker now, so... Maybe adding on even maybe another couple? Yeah. Maybe go up to 8. Maybe it's not necessary. I don't know. I... It's pretty crowded. I think once um, all of them can pick up blocks, I think that would be enough. Yeah. Big chaos. I think there's enough chaos right now. And with the added extra shooting, like the shooting on the sides, would be fine. So, um, tell us your story of your... Um, oh, man. Melody. So, like, I had to get this surgery yesterday, and I've been waiting... Like, the beautiful thing about Canada is it's just, like, you know, the medical system and all this <laughs> stuff. But the other frustrating part is just, like, it's hard to know, like, what's covered and what isn't. Uh, and BC has different policies than Alberta. I won't get into any of that shit. Yeah. But basically, I had to get some surgery done because I had this cyst on my back. And, like, the thing about this cyst is it's just been growing since I was, like, 17. So, you know, it starts as, like, a pea size. And it was basically golf ball size at this point. So I had to get this shit cut out, and the problem is, is they won't cover it. Mm. So I had to spend like three hundred dollars to get this thing cut out. Because it's not making you sick. It's not totally. But it's also like I talked to the doctor. He's like, yeah, if we need another couple weeks, a couple years, probably tennis ball sized, 
then you know maybe like you know like grapefruit sized i'm like well that seems alarming <laughs> like yes, we're give, this is an investment worth happening um and so i had to wait f until june i had to w i started actually in june I, I submitted to try to get it done and the only time they could do it was now so it's been like a really long time waiting and like and the problem was was like last week i was supposed to get it done on wednesday so i canceled my class that i'm teaching and then the, I show up and the doctor's like, I just don't feel like doing it today. <laughs> I'm like, well, okay, well, fuck me. I just yeah, <laughs> rescheduled. A lot. So I have to teach tonight after having no. done like surgery, yes, like yesterday. Yeah. But there's no choice because otherwise my class, so I kind of already pushed my class one week. I can't push it two weeks. Yeah. But yeah, man, like, oh God, it was like, the thing is, is it's not a bad surgery, but right. the problem is, is it's just so like psychologically devastating to like get something like that cut out of you. <laughs> you know, you're like yeah. sitting there and like, oh, we got him. Oh, wave 10, man. So, yeah, you're just sitting there and like, and, and so, but the thing was, was he kept making things. He was just like, as it was happening, you never want to hear a doctor do this. As it was happening, he's like, oh, mm, that's, <laughs> um, oh. I'm like, well, that's what? <laughs> don't never seen that before. <laughs> I'm like, don't say this stuff. And then, like, as I go to leave, as I go to leave, he's like, you should lay on your. He was from the Ukraine. He's like, lay on your back. I'm like, okay, because I'm thinking like, why should I lay on my back? The wound is on my back. Right. And he's like, you must press it down, or it will bleed like crazy. I'm like, what? <laughs> bleed like crazy? And then he just tells me, oh my God. he's like, go home, put ice on it for two hours, or it will bleed all over the place. <laughs> oh, I'm like, God. oh Jesus, man, can you? not like he did he, he wasn't the he didn't have the most tact right um uh, doctors and... doctors and from the ukraine and all this stuff but yeah man so like the i know it was such a rough night like sleeping was really rough i couldn't really like sleep um and yeah so like at the moment i have perfect posture but that's because if i move my back at all <laughs> the stitches like opens up yeah fray oh, a little God. bit so at the moment i'm just like in like kind of like a consistent four out of ten pain uh, and then when i like bend over if i bend it's like i can totally feel it so i'm just like worse for wearers but the, anyone who i've talked to has had this they say like the first day is the worst and then it just increasingly gets better and after five days you almost don't notice it and then you just almost have to make sure your stitches don't get pulled out so luckily like you know it's not too bad but yeah. it's just it's just because it was like literally 4 30 yesterday that it happened right so i i guarantee if it were even like if it had been like 4 30 like two days ago i bet you i would be totally fine now Damn oh no it. but 50 oh 50, no it's so close to great. the end of the end of the end are you sure you still have both kidneys <laughs> yeah man <laughs> thank god um they say it won't come back um great oh, animation my... at the end there 52, 250. Oh, it's too bad we didn't get to the second. Um, I know. It was we so were so close. fucking close, man. Uh, will it come back? Mm -hmm. Maybe. <laughs> Great score. Thank you. I, I beat uh, yeah, dude. the developer's score. Really? Yeah, That's 50,000, I think. Crushing it, dude. Yeah. Um, you could have had tens of more points. That's right. You could have gotten actually, a whole 30 <laughs> points from that no, mothership. Actually, big points come when you uh, it adds up the blocks at the oh, end. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a good point, man. Definitely. Um, so it had great animation at the end. Um, actually, let's just show you the... Um, I don't know if that ever comes back. You have to let it to time out. So there's the opening screen, which is very cool. Kind of is a vertical, elongated version of the ship there. Yeah. And... Just like in uh, Galagon, it has, and a lot of, um, it has this screen. I love the question on mark, cha too. Like Champ Games title screens. It, uh, yeah, question mark. 30, oh, the, the lowest ever of anything. Guess what? <laughs> Less points than killing. <laughs> killing that, just the orange bug. And I'm gonna, just going to show you quickly what it looks like when they steal all of your stuff. Oh, that's a good idea. And um, actually, it'll take a while, but we'll, we'll let it run. Um, so, are you taking anything for the pain? Oh, or I'm doing is it some, okay. I'm doing some Tylenol, okay. and I popped some before I left, so I'll be good. Um, yeah. The only thing I'm craving right now is laying on some ice, <laughs> mm. but that's all good. I'll be okay for like the next bit. And has it has the, have the stitches pulled or are they staples or stitches? Uh, he or stitches they... and he did. He said that he did five like deep stitches and eight like minor ones, because um, he had to and he had to like cut out a bunch of it. And and I was like I was like can I see it? 
And I looked over and I looked at it and I was like, oh man, no one needs to see that. <laughs> what am I doing with myself? Why? Yeah. Um, I had a cyst as well. Yeah. Um, from age 16 to age 26, I think. And it was right there. Oh, God. That's much worse. Super visible. Size of, like, a hardball, almost. Damn. Like, it was that big. And, yeah, so when I was, uh, I guess it was in 90, 99, 2000, somewhere around there, I had it cut out, and I had a scar from there to there on my neck, and I had staples. Damn. All the way across there. I have pictures of it. And, That's kind of uh, badass, though, in its yeah, own way. Yeah, if you way. have a scar, you can, you know, make up stories. The and neck, say, you know. Yeah, just... I got it in a fight. Somebody tried to cut my neck open. I never saw the arcade version I was supposed to say. I'm amazed how many arcade games I've not seen. There's so many. There's like a, a glut of them, in, obviously, yeah. in the 80s, because they were making Big Bank. Yeah, because every quarter games. people were pushing in. Yeah, so you could charge people who who you sold the games to for quite a bit because they just made so much money like how f how fast a game could end times a quarter of a dollar you know and multiply that out and if some pe people are just lining up for that then uh yeah you're gonna make tons of money the font score should be changed to m better match the arcade yeah that would that would be good yeah you, if you're gonna make a port as a lot of people have done with a lot of games there's gonna be a balance between you know what you can do on a 2600 and what you can't do but if you can do it why not do it so you know if you can change the font to make it closer to the arcade font do that if you can um, change the the ship closer to the ship uh, look of the ship in the arcade and I was I was mentioning to him that the ship in the arcade has two colors on the same line and I think if the kernel can support it, I think it can because it's all by itself. Nothing ever crosses it. You can put two uh, characters on top of each other, which will allow you to have two colors on the same line and have the detailed ship that's in the arcade. Um, so I think he should definitely look into that and see if there's a kernel that you can do that with. Um, yeah, things that else, I think I already mentioned them. Add a couple more guys if you can. Yeah, that would help. At least two, I think. And somehow get all of them able to pick up the, the blocks. Yeah, because that would definitely increase the challenge value. I mean, if you yeah. wanted to make a hard mode, if every one of them were just a pink one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but not pink, yeah. Um, don't they look all the same? They look all the same. They're just different colors. So yeah, I don't know why much. they wouldn't be able to... He wouldn't be able to change it. So they all so do they it. all do it. They're all just they're all just different colors. They have the same look to them. Um, oh, I better move. Um, <laughs> yeah, you can just sit in the game and not be killed for a long time. It's kind of funny that way. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> there's no way you're winning. Uh, no, I'm. I want to lose. Now I have to move. But it won't take long. Um, and definitely, I would. As he gets as he um, gets the game balance going, make an easy mode, a medium, and a hard. That would be fun because right now I think this would be more like a kids mode. I find it really really easy the first whole wave. It's just not challenging. Like you just make like the bullets come so slowly they're really each yeah, easy pretty, to dodge. It's pretty difficult to even to die. It, how many, right. how many per wave? Oh, that's a good question. He did send me those notes. Actually, one second. I have more notes uh, while we're waiting for it to spell at the end. Um, it does increase by five enemies every wave. Uh, there we go. Okay. The game has 40 levels. Uh, you need to finish five waves to complete a round. Uh, his high score is 50,040, which I got 52. Two? Something. Yeah, I think yeah. he got 52. Um, let's see. Where's the latest information? Okay. Uh, you have to kill 45 enemies on the first wave. Uh, and the second wave, you have to kill 45. So it adds five more. Uh, 45 plus 5. 50. 
Yeah. So for each new wave, you have to kill five more aliens to finish it. Yeah. So by wave ten, you're up to um, fifty more. So you have to. Oh, you're wow! You get to kill like a hundred. Ninety-five. Yeah, almost a hundred wow. guys. So that's why wave ten was so long. It was brutally long. I mean, that's a scalable. Yeah, Deal. and I like that. That that felt really nice. The amount of aliens added each time. Um, yeah, I think if just because I concentrate on the pink ones, because that's all you have to concentrate on there. The other ones just shoot at you. I think the that's end it. is coming fast. And it's coming. Probably they'd be able to spell it out before they finish off. Um, so that means it's about two of. Two, two rounds. rounds of blocks if you shoot that's actually, none of that's them. That's actually kind of nice to know. Yeah. Uh, just a bit before two blocks because he's got to spell out. And and the, the program going into knowing to move those blocks up to exactly how to spell the end is really, really amazing, man. Really cool. I, I congratulate the this programmer. I mean, he has a lot of background in program, but for his first 2600 game, Unbelievable, especially in Batari Basic. Yeah. Which doesn't have the in incredible flexibility of um, assembly. But he was able to use the Batari Basic. Rotate the color of play zero, player zero. Uh, okay, yeah. See, people are helping him out already. That's what I love. When I show the games in here, the developers here, people make suggestions, programmers really tell him how to do it. Um. Else I, would I like start... that the colors are getting darker too, mm -hmm. to sort of connote like that you're that you're farther in. Because if you look, it's like a darker red yes. and a lighter one up top. That really helps. Yeah. In um, I also gave him another suggestion, but he probably won't be able to do it in Batari Basic. Like if you look at Zookeeper, um, he's uh, John Champo was able to make like individual bricks as they go across, which is hard to do on the twenty six hundred. Like a little weird separation by doing flicker. Yeah. Um, because in the arcade, your block of bricks is all the same color. And he's he's made it so it's different colors to denote the different levels, which works really well. You don't have to change it. It's fine. Um, but some slight variations can be made. Okay, we're down to one, maybe two left. Come on, pink guy. Come on. Come on. Yeah, he's, he's got a couple, oh, oh, there you go. Just a couple more, man. We're getting One close. more. One more, yeah, because you look at the top of the D. Yeah. It's almost like reverse breakout. Yeah. Here we go. And then they're all done. Oh, I oh. like it. Oh, that's badass. Put you in the D. The end. So you finally get the end. So there you go. Excellent. Incredible game. Yeah, what a good game, man. Yeah. Good work, Unbelievable. dude. Unbelievable. Cool, cool, cool. Yes, it is very, cool, very cool. cool. Um, if I can have that oh, back. Of course, man. Yeah, and I really wanted to show that to you because he he said, "Hey, did you ever get?" <laughs> so they spelled it out. No, I I get killed by. by getting yeah, you kind of have to almost do this. Yeah. Must actually later in the game. There's probably a real because I mean, if you happen to defend off like ninety five, that's a very different yeah, story. It's gonna be gonna be hard. They're gonna way more likely. I I got. I was pretty good at a uh, wave two. Uh, it wasn't anywhere close to no. spelling the end. It was more about me not getting shot. I yeah. was getting shot quite a bit. A little bit sloppy, but I, I was a little bit sloppy. So congratulations, Raymond C. Um, I don't know if he has any plans to release um, some of these builds into the Atari Age forums. He's in the chat right now. Um, I wish I had more ROM space, yeah. Um, so uh, that question goes out to you. Raymond, are you going to... Um, release this version or wait a bit and release another version or just keep it keep it under wraps till you're ready to because he's planning on putting this on cartridge which yeah is, this is great you should Once man this is a really slick going, game this is going to be awesome awesome i think it needs to be a little harder for like the default game yeah at least in wave one just to keep just to scale it a little bit more yeah but incredible incredible great game and i'm so happy that uh, we were able to play it here first um so this is the next game is uh, heist by tx marsh uh we've oh, played cool. this before but this is the final version of damn, it. damn okay good news um so it came out originally october 21st um and this build is from november 15th what's the date today so five days ago 
Um, and we last played it on October 25th, and I think I played it with Tanya. So okay, so this will be a you. new one for me. Mm -hmm. Come on, cursor. There you are. And I think the end is the only game I put as the end. <laughs> Usually I put games if it has a the or a. Yeah, you have Just a... because it's more... It seems like it's more part of the title. Yeah, it kind of is, because... Heist. Oh, like horde, comma, the. Yeah. yeah. Smarter. So I think this is made in Batari Basic as well. It looks like a Batari Basic. It to does, me. just this title screen. And this is made in 32K DPC. Plus. Um, so this says the this is the final version. Less bugs are identified. Um, so what I'll get you to do is read out that. Okay, cool. And then click on the instructions and read that out. Oh, sounds great, man. So I'll jump into this because we played this before, so I kind of know what's going on. Um, so they say, uh, unless bugs are identified, this would be the final release of Heist. This release fixes a number of small bugs and impl implements a few additional features, such as Berserk-style directional shooting, selectable via the left difficulty switch. This also makes um, a three live standard. Uh, single life games are still selectable as games four to six. I hope you enjoy, Tim. And then um, posted on November 16th, source code added to downloadable above. I'm including the source code as it may help someone. I'm sure there are plenty of areas where the code could have been written better. Sometimes the hack is actually a means of doing something without using additional variables. Other times, what looks like a hack is truly a hack. It can be a little intimidating showing how the sausage is made, and there is no claim that anything performed by the code is the best way to do it. That's a good little disclaimer. Oh, shit. Shooting people. <laughs> okay. Shooting the peoples. Which one are you? You the blue guy? No, I'm the white guy. Ah, oh, makes sense. You're the yeah. white guy. I am the robber. Gameplay. Capture the money while avoiding the police and laser defenses. Once the money is in your possession, a door will open. Oh, that guy's so hard. Um, uh, you still need to make it out of the bank to clear the level. All of this must be done before the time runs out. Some levels are easier than others, and the time is adjusted accordingly. Note that the police will not notice you until you are in the general proximity or you have taken the money. Once you capture the money, all police become aware of your presence, and they move with an increasing sense of urgency, i.e. Oh, faster. I don't have any bullets left. There ah. is a total of 20 levels using 10 playfields. Each playfield is displayed twice. The second time um, through, you are given less time, and the police move faster. If you complete all 20 levels, um, you will flip the game and have the chance to play through them again. This time, however, the police will move faster and you'll be limited to four bullets. That's run out of bullets pretty now. Pretty intense. So controls. Movement. Use the left joystick to move left, right, up, down, and diagonals. Pause. Set the color um, um, slash black and white. Switch to black and white to pause the game. It's always nice to have a pause oh, feature. Yeah. Um, uh, the playfield walls will uh, turn light gray and the player pause. will face left to indicate that the game is paused. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Uh, set um, the switch back to color to continue gameplay. Shooting um, behavior depends upon the position of the left difficulty switch in either mode. The bullet travels in the direction that the player is presently moving. Mode A, which is left uh, difficulty switch A, if the player is standing still, then the bullet moves in the direction that the player um, last moved. Um, this is similar to the behavior implemented in Berserk, released by the Stern Electronics, Inc. in 1982. So, no, the walls do not hurt you. That would be uh, make it much worse. Yeah, thank God. Oh, my God. But that, but that does. does. I'm going to restart. Damn. <laughs> um, if player is standing still, then the bullets move horizontally to the left when the player ah, is facing left. It. Similarly, Terrible. the bullets move horizontally to the right if the player is facing right. Yeah, so if you go up, that doesn't mean you still shoot up when you press the button. Which... That would be something you would think would happen, but it doesn't. Oof, just barely made it up. It's that, it's that sixth level that's so hard. Is sixth or fourth? Oh yeah, and he, and he gives you the timing for all the levels too. Oh, okay. Um, he says, uh, scoring is $1,000 for each money bag stolen. 
On games where you have more than one life, you will lose the money if you are caught slash die before clearing the level. Right, right. And here's a hint. It may help your overall strategy to get the police to chase you. You can get their attention by moving close to them. This works even if you're protected behind a wall. Oh, I'm out of bullets. But I'm fast enough in this. That Good I'm... luck. But I can't outrun this guy. That's the problem. Oh, no, I should have. Yeah, I can't do this. Oh, Whoa, man. what's going on? <laughs> Damn. Okay. Should have led him up. Then I could have got away. Oh, see, it goes through him. Oh, this is great. This is like a lot of details about like the um, just visual breakdowns of all the different things, which is pretty cool. Oh, like what's on the screen? Oh, yeah, no, 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 yeah. It's just got some good. Oh my god, pack. I went through that. Damn it! How many bullets do you have? What do you I think it's six. On. Sometimes it goes through him. You know why? Because it's flickering. And it's on the same line as another guy. So the bullets... Oh, my God. Oh, when you touch him, you're dead, too. Yeah. Because oh. they don't shoot you. A dollar sign by the score would be a nice touch. Oh, that That's a good point, be, man. That cool. would be a really nice... Same color, too. Yellow? Yeah. It's a very challenging game. Unless you're stupid. Then it's impossible. <laughs> Let's try that again. Come on. Start. So what are the game variations again? Um, like uh, okay, game one, so game two. Okay, so he has two. game one is three lives, limited time, uh, limited bullets, which yeah. is the normal game. Um, game two is three lives, you have unlimited time and unlimited bullets. Oh. Uh, game three is um, three lives, unlimited time, no bullets. Oof. That's like the fucking rough. <laughs> um, game four is single life, limited time, limited bullets. Game five is single life, unlimited time, unlimited bullets, and then... Uh, game four is a single life, unlimited time, and no bullets. So that's like the the Ranger edition, you know? Like you know what that that is in like in first person shooters, you always have a HUD, right? Yes. Um, the Ranger edition is in a lot of games. They'll take away your HUD, so it's like you have to like guess where you're shooting. <laughs> oh, and it's no. called Ranger, right? Because it's like you don't know what's going on. You gotta like guess. I want to play... Pacifist mode, for sure. Pacifist. Oh, my God. Yeah, good luck. I'm going to try that one next, actually. Because I don't even know if it's possible. Like, can somebody... I guess it is, because he's programmed it, so you m must be able to do it. And he says they'll chase you um, whether you are... Like, how do you do this guy without a bullet? Like I think you have to, like, train him. Like, you have to have him, you know what I mean? Like, um... Like, there's no room to get around him. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, what is the one with no bullets, unlimited time? Um, that would be game three. Okay. So, yeah, no bullets on this one. Let's see. Now I've led him into there. That's fine. I have to deal with him again when I come out. Ugh. That, even that is hard. What a tough game. It is. It's really tough. See, you can get them so they're like get stuck on corners. Okay, that guy you have to lead out. You can get him over to here. It's really slow on these first levels, but then. Oh my god. Well, at least there's two of them there. Damn. Then they have to time it while they're chasing you. Yeah, it is cool having that minigame options, Carl. Gee, for sure. It adds a like, completely different level to it, which is neat. Mm-hmm. And, and it gives you more challenge if you're like, oh, this game's too easy. It's like, really? Really? You want something hard? Well, we're going to give it to you. Hold my beer. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Yay! Level one, pacifist mode. Okay, this guy. Ha you have to get him through the bottom. For sure. That's the only way. So I'm gonna have to do... Like, bring him... I'd say bring him, like, all the way to the bottom. And then have him... You know what I mean? Like, you, because he's gonna chase know. you to the left, right? 
So if you go all the way there, yeah, this is the place that you have to. You have to get him somewhere in that. That's the only. Oh, yeah. That's the only area you'll physically be able to do it. Oh my god. And then you gotta reset. What? Oh, you only get three lives, and you died. Oh, did I? Oh, okay. Yeah. Up, 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 up. You go up there. There we go. Okay. Get that guy's attention. You go over there. Yeah, I draw him away. You kind of have to lead them. Lead them where you want them to go. Very much like the tank robot. No, it's tank city. City tank. It's just tank yeah. city. You have to know how to manipulate the other character. Okay. Okay, down we go. Let's try this again. I don't know. Maybe I'll go That's that's my here intuition is until like, he gets past that thing go over to the left. I think something like that is the only that's way. Up. Of course. Yeah, that's do it right. That seemed about right. Yeah, I think so. Robot City. Robot yeah. City, yes. Yeah, very much you are controlling them by where you are. Oh. Yeah, now you're fucked. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Not a chance. And, he then you gotta, his gun. and then you gotta somehow get him on the way back, too. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll do it this way. Keep him at the top and then just duck around him. As, as, oh, maybe there. Oh, I went over too much. I should have gone down. Try this one more time. Well, it's nice to learn these techniques because, like, if you run out of bullets, you know yeah, what I mean? You'll need it anyways. It's kind of like practicing it, like, on a certain <laughs> style, you know? It is, yeah. It's really good practice for when you do have no bullets left. Cool there's just multiple ways to, like, do the same thing, you know? Yeah. And that is that. Those are the best games where you can play the game so many different ways, depending on how, like your skills, where your skill set is at. Okay, more down than across. Oh, it still went kind of diagonal. I have to go like straight down. Because I mean, it's only an eight-way joystick, so you're either going down or you're going diagonal. Yeah. So I have to go down, down, down. Yay, that's it. Oh my god. And then and then, then you're what? and then you're wise to just lead this guy like I think I should lead him over and then go through that little thing. Jesus. That's the only way. Yeah, cuz I don't I don't think I can get, I, I guess I can get past him just as much as I can get past this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll do that again. Hard as hell, but everybody i should actually lead that guy into this room okay both of you get in this room yeah that's what i want because that's much easier and then you got to get this guy into gotta get him here this is the only way oh no 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 yeah fuck yeah okay oh my god imagine was... limited time i've never seen this level what, is it different when you have no bullets? It must be. Oh, you got to, like, lead all these dudes all over the place. Oh, my God. Why would you want to go down here? And why am I going here? Uh oh, no. That doesn't kill them, though. I wish it did. Uh-oh. Wreck. <laughs> Rip. Yeah, you got to lead. I have no men left. That's very cool, though. Wow, what a game. Yeah, it's very, very detailed graphics, very cool mazes. I'll try one more time <laughs> to back, get to that level. Back to our old friend. Up, up, up. Uh, oh, well. Okay, let's get you down there then. I like this when you don't have a time limit because that time limit can be combined with... leg on there there we go you go up there yep go over there oh no am i oh no i reset i have bullets that's funny and a time limit 
Yeah, it plays the levels differently. Like, I have to do this level twice when I have bullets. I guess it makes sense, because it's just, like, a different... But now you're so much better at it, because you've been practicing it. Yeah. It's funny. But he's so much faster. Wow. That's, that's the thing. I have... It, that makes sense, because if you don't have bullets, you don't have... You don't have the speed. You have to use your bullets to shoot him because you can't evade him as easily. That uh, makes a lot of sense. Maybe look how fast he is. It crazy. Oh my god! It was stuck. <laughs> Somehow. Oh no! I'm yeah. stuck there. Back to zero. Yeah, I think so. It seems like it's so much easier to shoot sideways than up or down. It is, because, because you have to be moving to shoot up or down. Or in diagonals. It does have diagonals, too. Yeah, but you I have just to be, like, not moving. Even, I wouldn't even worry about this guy. I just no. leave. Yeah, you should get violent, uh, extra points for being a non-violent bank robber. Yeah. Way too slow. Yeah, you just gotta be closer to it. It's it's tricky because you move so fast and you, you get scared of accidentally just being too close to it. See how much I move? Oh yeah. my god, that's close. <laughs> and then it's this level, which is you use up all your bullets on this level. Yeah, it's just because of like the See, it went through his gun. See, the third it's time really I got hard. him. So I have to shoot him at specific spots where he's not flickering. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the flicker. I, I don't know. Yeah, I'd always shoot them on the side if you ever have the option. Yep. Because seriously. <laughs> Running out of time. Yep. Wow. Death. If you put the difficulty switch to A, I'm guessing... Um, you can shoot like berserk in directions. Last moved. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Nice. I don't know if that'll help a lot, but it'll help. A... I don't know why that's not default. Just to make it, just to add more to it, I guess. And you get po extra points if you do it faster. Uh, no. No, it's just, you just have to complete it's just it. A time it's very limit. realistic. You make it out with the money, you make it out with the money. That makes sense. <laughs> Originally, he had it, so you only had... Oh, my shit. God. Uh, you only had one life, and everybody's like, this is... No, yeah, you that's need more lives. Yeah, that's way too rippy. It is. But he was trying to make it, like, realis realistic. He's like, no, you only have one life. You're yeah, that's, that's where, like, having different game modes makes sense, because, like... Yeah. And, and that's the difference between a uh, simulation and an arcade game. Or simulation, yeah, you have one life. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Oh my god, I'm going to run out of bullets again. It's brutal. This guy I'm going to avoid because it's on the slow speed at this moment where I can avoid him. Whoa. But I don't have much time. I think I can do it. Yeah, I can avoid this guy too. Just in time. Oh, you gotta do this twice. Damn. Yeah, everyone is. Oh my god. Oh my god. And he's like dodging. Too. Now I have no bullets left. I, I have to kill this guy. Damn. You, it. And you have to turn. And when you turn, your gun is right up against him and you die. It's so hard. This that's what I find about this level. Just that one. Well that part. That that shot him! Do these guys sometimes take two bullets? Like the I, bullet know, I don't think so. I think it's just... The bullet didn't go through him, yet it didn't kill him. It's just like... Um... I think that's a bug. Bug, TX Marsh. Bug. Okay. Very good. Very good game. Yeah, man. What it's an really amazing... It's really hard, though. I yeah. It's really, really difficult. Man, are all the these banks, is... or, you can, or are you robbing convenience stores, Apple stores? Well, you can... Make them whatever you like. Kevlar vest, good point. <laughs> but you are picking up like a, a sack of money at one location. Yeah. So I would say it's more like a bank. You're going into their vault. 
And how many Apple stores have armed guards? It's a good point. They probably should at this point. Yeah. iPhone 11 is pretty popular. <laughs> and expensive. You know, it's like as much as a computer on. at this point. It is. It was a fifteen hundred dollar product, I think. Eighteen yeah. hundred dollar product. I don't know the number. Wrong. But you know, it kind of makes sense for most like, people. That's like the only how powerful it is and how small it is. You know, and and all the things you can do. So the next game is Marble Madness. Oh, I feel like I played this one before. Am I crazy? We've... There's just a lot of madness in games. <laughs> I think that might be it. We did play. A Marble Madness by Iisposta. A ah, long cool. time ago. Um, we are going to take a look at the arcade game first. Okay, sick. To give everybody a reference point. I'm sure most people that are watching have seen Marble Madness. You probably have not. No, I haven't. Um, so this is good. This is for me. Yeah, this will be very useful for you. Um, very interesting game. It's a uh, isometric... Uh, 3D-ish, oh. really cool looking game. Um, it was controlled with a roller ball. So it was, really? Wow. It was a mar you played a marble, but you also moved the marble with a marble. Uh, so let's take a look at this. Oh my goodness. So you're that marble, the blue marble, oh. and you're like moving a moving a ball in the arcade and getting it to a goal and that's like the practice level and this is like the real first level and it's amazing music. Really, really cool. this is, then there's enemies like that that try to swallow the ball damn and like these little bridges they go up and down and the black ball tries to push you off the ledge and there's 3d and there's down the slope. you fall yeah which has which you come back. Your, your so this guy's crushing it. Yeah, he's doing really good. This, this video shows the end. There's only six levels to this game. And you can beat the whole game in six minutes. Like four minutes. In the arcade. The whole game. Yeah, because it's insane. Easy. No, I mean if you're next to me. But Cause yeah, look at this. Like, <laughs> just cruising on the slime. It's all been good. But, um... Your opponent is the time. When you run out of time, the game is over. But not Jesus. when you fall off the ledge. Yeah, so some so there's usually options like the hard way, uh, or the long, long and easy, or short. Uh, or vacuums. Whoa. Vacuum you. Or push you off. Catapult. Catapults. I'll show you the whole game. Oh no, okay, so that was just bad luck. Yeah. Is it push it up to the air? Also, you get a little dizzy if you fall down. It kind of stuns you for a bit. I can ima I couldn't imagine doing it's, this on a trackball. It is ball. not easy. Yeah, this game definitely needs trackball support if they're going to make like a true <laughs> and mini balls, mini eater things, but you just squish them. Like way more. Oh, you get time! I never made it to this level. I died on the last level. That makes sense. Usually. Inverted slopes, or slopes like that, or slopes like that. We oh, do birds. Trackball games are really special because, like, there's just not that much stuff that's it's such a unique experience. It really is. Um, they're a great input device for 2D movement. Um, or anything that you can move in, in all the different directions. Um, That was a little ladder that's going on there. Look at the time up above, I bet. There's some uh, funky things happening there. It's okay. He's, he just this wants is, to show This us. was an official speed run. Did it? So, uh, maybe not. Did that happen in a speed run? Be like, no, nope, there's a There was a kid, I don't I didn't follow the story too well, but there was a kid.
kid who was cheating during his streams. He oh. lost all his kids. Oh, oh yeah. But there's the whole game. That's Whoa! 100% of the game. That's the arcade version. I played this on my C64 um, back in the day, and it was a very good port, actually. Um, and I can't remember I supposed this version. We're going to take a look at that briefly. Oh, I don't think it was a playable version. I think this just scrolls the play field. Ah, oh, cool. Not sure what he was going for here. I suppose it can chime in. I um, guess it was just to show the playfield. Don't know if he uses the same mapping as the as the one that John Harvey was working on. Okay, so we'll jump to the end right here. Okay. Oh, okay. We got it. Joystick is. Yeah, I'm starting to like under. I'm starting to like live in the new world, you know, of this joystick. This one. Yeah. Yeah, we've had got have to I'm getting have used to, get to, used it. to it. So I'm gonna explain a little bit before I hand this over to you. I don't even know if, even know if I can hand it over to you. This is a lot of notes and they're complicated. Um, so I originally ran across this version of Marble Madness in a ROM pack. Um, I was like, oh, Marble Madness, what is this? Oh my god. And I, and I punched in and um, it had the name John K. Harvey on it. And so I looked up John K. Harvey on the Atari Age forums and I couldn't find that. Yeah. And I looked up Marble Madness and I couldn't really find that either in the Atari Age forums um, too easily. Um, but I uh, cross-referenced uh, Marble Madness on Arena Foot's list and it said John K. Harvey, which didn't really give me any more information than it had. Um, it just said port of Marble Madness, better graphics of first two levels. Wow! But it was that was kind of mysterious too because this game only has one level. Yeah. It's like, where's the second level? I couldn't get to the second level. Um, but then I was able to track down um, John's Atari age name through another game that uh, John Harvey made on Arena Foot's list, and and it said his name. It didn't say outright that his name was Propane Thirteen, but it had a link to the Atari Age forums with a name Propane 13, and it and it turned out to be that's his Atari Age name. So I got a little bit closer there, and then I did a, a search under in Google, because the Atari Age forum search is not super great. It's it's yeah. good enough, but it doesn't search everything. So I did use Google, and put in Propane 13 and Marble Madness, and I found the thread. And it's not a thread under Marble Madness, and that's why I was having so much wow, trouble. Okay. It was a thread under a, a Castlevania port for the Atari 2600. Weird. Um, it, that, and the thread was started by uh, Graphics BMP, um, who was working on uh, this Castlevania port. And somebody said, um, I'm really impressed with all of these mock-ups, in, in reference to his Castlevania. Said uh, Moz Games. Any chance you could do it for Marble Madness? Your design style seems like a perfect match for it. And Graphics BMP said, I guess I could. It's getting rather difficult working on, difficult working on Castlevania. I've had to restart the designs about four times now. It's frying my brain. Um, so that was on June 8th, 2009. Wow, 10 uh, years ago. Yeah. <laughs> and then he did, actually, I'll show this first. Then he showed, then he did... Um, a full level design of Marble Madness. Uh, here it is. Here's the thread, actually. Oh, whoa. So that's the first level, not the practice level, but the first level of Marble Madness. Are they seeing that? Uh, they should be. Okay, yeah. good. Let's see check I can in. zoom in, actually. There we go. So you can see there's the, there's the ball, there's you, there's the enemies there, there's another ball. And there's the goal. That's pretty it's amazing. It's like this is this looks fine. Like you yeah, can kind of recognize like Madness, man. Recognize it. And luckily, the game is a vertical scrolling game. Completely vertical scrolling. It doesn't go left or right. So it's perfect for the Atari twenty six hundred because Atari twenty six hundred does no problem scrolling vertically. It's the horizontal scrolling. And this whole thing is made by playfields. Um and we'll take a look at it later. It's made by two colors alternating on either line 
um, and using the background black to also enhance the look of it. So it's only two colors on, on varying lines. Um, and then uh, on February 2011, it said Propane said, one person asked me if they cared if I tried rendering the two Marble Madness, graphics BMP said this, uh, rendering the two Marble Madness levels I drew. I look forward to seeing it on the screen to see what it looked like, but I haven't heard anything back since he asked me. And uh, Propane13 said, actually, I was waiting for permission, but since I read this post this morning, I got a little excited and put something together for you. Not scrollable, but you can see the general idea. I got a little bit bored with from the data entry. I just did PF01, PF11, but I shared the source. I can help explain it to people how to fill in the gaps if they feel like it. Um, I encourage it. And then somebody posted um, an Atari 2600 conversion of the music for Marble Madness. Wow. Now I'm going to play that now. So I love it when this kind of stuff happens where where community kind of all pieces kind of it together. Yeah. It's like, oh, I know how to make music. Oh, I know how to make graphics. Oh, I know how to program those graphics into a game. Uh, so here is the music. Just have to open it up one second and then not blast your ears. So be careful, people with uh, headphones. Sounds great. Yeah, that sounds pretty damn close. Yeah. So that music is not in the game we're going to be playing, but, but it could be. Like this music, which yeah. is brilliant, so close to the arcade. So that's the little tune, and they they have that in like MIDI form, ready to go. That it's available for download. Um, then uh, then I'm going to show you how this mapped into terrain, because you have to know where you fall off, where you bump into. What is a downslope to the left? What is a downslope to the right? Um, some other variables too. But I'm going to show you that, and it's just fascinating, actually. There we go. Oh, wow. Uh, here we go. So here's the practice level on the right. Maybe I can zoom in a bit. There's the practice level on the right, and you can see that's a slope down to the left. That's a slope down straight down, and the blues slope down to the right from our perspective. Um, so we've mapped out the whole game, and white is no slope at all. Red is the finish line. Um, I'm not sure what these... Oh, people can't see it on my cursor. Uh, the pink and the light blue and the green. Yeah, kind of like the bottom right. Yeah, I'm not sure what those are. Um, and then you can see for the first level, he's mapped it all out as well. There's a nice little bowl there that all... <laughs> oh, that's what those are. It's got even more colors. The brown is like away to the right. Um, yeah, and etc, etc. Um, there's a pink, pink one, pink one there. Oh, tunnels. Wow, those wild. Are tunnels in, tunnels out. Uh, unbelievable. Oh, the pink is a diving down. That's what that is, because that dives down. The one on the left, that there's a chute that goes down from there to there. Very, very, very cool. Yeah, what a hard game this must be. <laughs> Just watching that dude play it, I was like, damn, I don't think I could do that. Yeah. Um, so, new data, both practice and beginner have terrain zones now. Um, just as a side note, do you have the vi a variable for b ball integrity since a fall can shatter it? Yeah. So you have to keep track of that. If a ball falls... That's a lot of factors from a little oh, Marble Madness up it here. Is. It's a complex game. This would be one of the last games I would ever think that somebody could port to the 2600 because it's so complex looking. Like, it's 3D and with the dimensions and... But this guy does it. It's unbelievable. It's totally visually... Um, understandable o on the edge on the edge I would say um, okay so I will let you read out the next part okay cool while I j dive into the game and which parts that it's the known the right there from the top from there. okay okay so I'll, I'll let you I, uh, load it up 
first. Okay, here we go. So in the game, um, you can also have a 90 degree, which is down is straight down, left is straight left. Yeah. Or you can have your joystick on a 45 degree. I don't know how that would help in I this game. I think the 90 would make more sense But 90, 90 makes total sense in this game. Whoa, okay. So there's my marble at the top. It has... Um, it doesn't have slopes in this game. He didn't implement the slopes. So it's just straight um, physics. It has momentum. Like I go up to the left. I have to turn around. And and there, there's the bumpers right there. Bump, bump, bump. Um, I can f fall off the ledge there. Unbelievable. Okay, go for it. Okay, new release to test. I'm testing the new collision detection table scheme. New features. Every four byte pixel mapped out to either be a hole, bump, surface, or wind zone. Cross the winning area, and the screen turns blue to show a wind condition. In short, it's playable. Known breakages. I have no sloping stuff in here yet. At the moment, I'm only testing collision on one single pixel, whereas before I tested four. This means that the ball could react strangely, move erratically, or get stuck in some situations. In one case, uh, I've seen this impact scrolling. That's something that I plan to fix, but for now, we're just testing the basic engine, so forgive these issues for now. I'm not using the smart bumping as before. Um, it's just pushing back and stopping the ball. No noise for now. I'd be very interested to have people play and give feedback specifically on the following areas. The first one is, are there sections of the map where you feel that the holes or bumps do not accurately reflect the map itself? How does it feel? What is your best time to get to, win, uh, to the win condition? And uh, thanks and enjoy. John. <clears throat> so... Uh... I suppose it says that's a 32 pixel play field. That's quite impressive. I wonder how it looks on real hardware. Um, same, better, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the big question is, does this make any sense to somebody who has not played Marble Madness? Like I showed you what Marble Madness looks like. Does this might just look like, what is this? It's this is pretty, mess. this is, this is like, it feels like an experimental film from the 60s at the moment, <laughs> but not in like a bad way. Like I kind of yeah. like, I'm wrapping my brain around it, I think. Like this area, that brown and the ladder thing, like it looks like you, a pyramid maybe. Yeah. I would like, yeah. It works if you squint. Actually, it does help if you squint. <laughs> so maybe on a smaller screen, like yeah. if you look at it on on our on the computer. Actually, it does make a, a lot more sense. So we're looking at it on like a forty-six inch television, so it's quite Which is pretty blown insane. Up. Um, but everything everything works. Like it doesn't have the slopes, but it, the marble has momentum. And Whoa! Then, and then you win. And you can go out of the wind territory and die again. Whoa. But I mean, winning would def would would take you like you'd stop and then you go to the next level. But it maybe that's what prevented them from going on. It's like it's just too um, detached. It's hard to figure out like what. Yeah, the perspective is the difficult part. Yeah, I mean it's a great use of the playfield to convert the original, but maybe it needs cleanup like. Maybe it doesn't need to be this complex looking. Like, make the white areas just plain white. Yeah, it could. It, it could be simplified. Actually, I think because because like, even like the red and like, like you see like the sorry the orange and then yep. the kind of like almost like brown red. Yeah, like it's hard to know like what those are and which perspective is what. Oh, did I miss the update for the broken twenty six hundred fixed project? Oh, we'll get into that. Yeah. Uh, in the next game, I'll, I'll go over that. Because um, you can see it in the... Uh, you can see the multimeter in the camera down there, if people look. But I mean, yeah. this is this is what the game is. I don't... I don't know. Is it worth continuing on? Is it too obscure? Like, is it... Does it trans not translate? It's, it's a complex game. I think the... I think I just need to, like, visually figure out, like, what each thing is. I think if... Okay. You know, in all honesty, like... It would make more sense if they just left, like, 
you see they have like the perspective like they've got these like red and stuff like i would yeah. just leave it blank like it would be nice to just like the uh, ramps and stuff like that like that part's good but yeah. you, but i'm like the thing on the like the orange reddish on the, the on the right like i just leave those just gone so that it just would just leave it into the void like into the yeah blackness. so that i know that that's just a area you're not supposed mm. to go because it doesn't necessarily read as somewhere you're not meant to be right yeah. And even that's hard because it's like... Yeah, if you played the original, yeah, you can understand this. But it's more like a pixelated... Translation, Like, I shot guess. of it. Like, yeah. Like, somebody took a, a screenshot of Marble Madness and, like, compressed it down to X pixels by X pixels. And it's like, nope, this is what it looks like. And it's like, yeah, it, this, it is what it looks like. But is it playable? And I, I don't know if I, I think it is. It, it needs to be massaged into something that is the 2600. And that's, yeah. that's the trade-off when you take a port of an arcade game and put it on uh, a it's... system that can't do certain things. You have to translate it rather than do a direct... Yeah, because it's, it's, it's sort of more complicated than it's worth at the moment. Yeah, because I can see how... at the how end the... of the day, we're just a marble on ramps. Yeah. Uh, and you have to figure out a way to represent those ramps that's left, right, up, down, in a way that makes sense on the screen. Um, yeah, so I, I think the jury's out for me on this one. Yeah, same. Whether, and that's maybe why they stopped developing it. They just went, eh. Remove the squares where not needed. Yeah, yeah. that's what I would say, man, for sure. Because right now the screen is just full of stuff. It's just a, it's a checkerboard mess like a hound's tooth t-shirt yeah right? <laughs> so only ramps stick out yeah i have the same note i got the yeah. same note man yeah only ramps stick out yeah so solid white unless there's something and then black on the edges maybe it takes away the 3d aspect of it but it's lost a bit anyway yeah i mean they did a great job of that is that side that's shadowed and that's in the light with the white but White it's hard orange, because like black and orange that sort of works but on another level it doesn't because yeah. it's it's just it's it's just too tricky yeah i mean they did a great job of um kind of like sokobu where they have orange white orange white orange white and yeah then taking out the black wherever they want yeah so really good they were talking about putting in a fourth color maybe that'll help i don't know but I wanted to play it on the show because it's so... It's so interesting. Interesting. And to see the translation with all the yeah. other stuff, too, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. Unbelievable. So, anyway, there is Marble Madness. Maybe they'll pick it up again. All the things are there. Yeah, man. Like, all the elements, people have mapped it out. They've got the music ready. Um, they just need to do the rest of the maps and obviously add in enemies and stuff. So, we'll see. We'll see. Until I played it on the show, I thought, oh, yeah, they should just keep doing it. It's yeah. amazing. But now I see it, it's like, I don't know. I don't know if they should. Um, so we're going to move on to the fourth game, fourth and last game of the day, and we will talk about my Atari 2600, the sad state it's in. Um, it's Kelly Kangaroo. Um, it's by Denabola Interactive. Uh, it was uh, part of a Strawberry, two, Strawberry Jam 2 game competition which was held uh february 2018 it was uh 2018 it was a, l a month long competition between a bunch of games it was like 40 50 games in the competition oh, cool um and this is the one that i didn't play for a long time i knew about it since like that that time like really early uh in 2018 but it it has a lot of line count problems, so it flickers in a bunch of different places. I'm guessing the person didn't play it on real hardware or played it on a CRT, which is very forgiving. Yeah. Um, or they played it on Stella. Um, so this first uh, was posted February 23rd, 2018. This build is from March 9th because they continue to update it after the competition. Um, you can download it. It's not in the Atari Age forums. There's no mention of it anywhere, uh, which is surprising because you'd think you'd want to you know, promote your game. And that'll they, be the place to do it. Yep, yeah, that's the biggest collection of 2,600 fans. You could add background with color changes. Oh, you could, yeah. Yeah, you need to just to kind of approach Work it. it you just need, this needs a different approach. Yeah. It just needs to be different simpler, I think. Like, that's the thing, is simple is, is generally better, actually. Yeah, It's just a bit too complicated for what it's worth. Yeah. 
So other games uh, this person has made, Emil and Maxwell in the case of the Haunted Bakery, a.k.a. Haunted Bakery, <laughs> Kelly Kangaroo, and Winter Fortress. And I don't think any of them are in the Atari Age forum. He's got to get sure. on that. That would be... That's right. And a uh, pretty newish developer. This is the 32K F4 uh, game. And so we're going to get into it. And I'm going to link up a page with the instructions so you can help us out here. Yay. Okay, as we cool. Play. So I'm going to load it up first. Kelly Kangaroo. Switch over. Everybody heard that. So version 6. I love it when they put the version number right on the screen. It helps a lot, actually. Um, so we know what's going on. Get all six strawberries. So that is the goal. So you're a little kangaroo. You can jump around. You move by jumping. Super cute. This game That's is great. so cool. You press the button. You do a big jump. You can hold the button by and continuously jump, too. So this is a puzzle platformer. Oh, you can wrap around the screen? Yeah. So that's it. And it's, I believe, a completely vertical game. Which makes sense for kangaroos. And after you go back to a screen, everything resets. So you have to use that. That gives you a super jump. Oh. Kelly! Oh. And then it resets, so you have to Oh, rough. That. There we go. So you have to not fall down that hole. No! Oh I see. So go for it with the instructions. Okay. So Kelly the kangaroo is enjoying a lovely picnic date with Rosie the rabbit in the picturesque mo most mossy valley when, oh no, the mad scientist Contemptus Mundi, always bitter and jealous of the happy people living on Gaia Gaia Island, has kidnapped Rosie and locked her away in his mother base in the clouds. It's up to you to help Kelly save her sweetheart before it's too late and that vile contemptus whisks her away to the stars. Use the joystick to make Kelly hop to the left or right and hold the fire button to perform a much higher jump to reach her goal. Contemptuous Mundy's mothership has one weakness in its anti-affection force field and that is the prisoner's favorite food. In this case, strawberries. <laughs> Kelly must collect six strawberries scattered around the obstacle course in order to free Rosie from her lame and apathetic captor. <laughs> wow, just not even not just lame but apathetic, apathetic as well. Kelly will face many dangers along the way, from angry bees, carnivorous flowers, aggressive bats, and automatic flying saucer drones. Most can be knocked out simply by jumping on them, but some are especially treacherous. Watch out. If Kelly falls victim to these baddies, she will be knocked back several screens, losing precious time. The left difficulty switch will select how much time is on the clock before oh. the sexual frustration-powered engines are activated. Okay. New players should set <laughs> left difficulty to B and see fa um, and see fast see how fast you can reach the end. Um, players looking for more of a challenge can set the switch to A for a more intense time constraint. This game is safe for work. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Are you playing video games at work? Oh my god. That's hilarious. Even with the sexually frustration powered engines. <laughs> um, uh, this game is safe for work. Known issue in version 0 0.3. Sometimes the collision detection can be a bit uh, fiddly, especially with springs. When playing an actual hardware with a harmony cart or with realistic video settings in the emulator turned on, the screen will sometimes roll and flicker uh -huh. when Kelly touches certain walls. Okay, so they knew. Yeah, and that, but that's 0 0.3 and we're playing 0 0.6. So. They didn't fix it. <laughs> Damn. Okay, and most emulators are more forgiving by default than classic CRT seems to dampen the effect. Yeah. That doesn't count, though. Um, Kelly will sometimes treat the score timer as solid ground if an enemy is making sound. It's really weird. Only NTSC color supported so far. God. 0 0.4 is enemies slightly less aggressive. Enemies don't send you so far back. No longer a default score font. 0.5 um, is flower no longer sends you back to the start. Added a quick get all six strawberries message. Um, fine tune the bat. And in 0 0.6 it says a cutter jump sounds and included source code. But it's a mess. Proceed with caution. <laughs> Thanks for playing. And this is the most adorable font of all time too. 
Oh yeah. Super just like. Oh yeah, pixelated font this on cute the instructions. Little, cute little. Uh... Oh my god, that flower is so annoying. Okay, you have to use a butterfly to do like boost Whoa. you up. Um. Damn. I read a thread on the competition. Um, oh. Site. Where everything kill. You can kill everything by jumping on it. Yeah. Except for that flower. Whoa. Now I have to get. So did you? Is that what you needed to do? Originally, that's what you have to do. But now you have to. Oh, oh God! It's so hard to get over that flower. I'm gonna try it from the other side. I don't think it's possible to jump like this way. Maybe it is. That would be awesome if it was. Just start jumping first. Oh, Yay. never mind. Fuck oh, yeah, mind. that's Maybe the way. Maybe you to... can't do it the other way. It's the way they do it. Ooh, never been this far. What is this? What is that? It's like a big spring. Oh, gets me up here. Whoa! Oh, different gameplay. Whoa! Glad I didn't jump on that thing. I guess you need oh, that. Oh, I do need to get on that thing. Damn. Oh. Oh, it's like Donkey Kong Jr. Oh my god, how am I supposed to do that? <laughs> no! At least, at least this is a very safe... I can't fall, 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 fall. Like, fall way fast down. But it does push me back like two levels when I fall. It's really funny. Oh, there we go. Oh, damn it. Way over here. There we go. Now I probably can't get up there, so I have to... I don't know how you're gonna do this. Because the spider comes super fast down there. It's instant. I guess you have to go from the left and then... Yeah. And then s but then I go up here, and I go, well, there's the strawberry. I have to get up that way. Oh, we must come down. Oh, we aren't around. But then you can't even... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh my god! I can move the spring. <laughs> I don't know if that's helpful, though. Is it helpful? Oh, maybe it is. Let's see. Maybe you're not supposed to move the spring. <laughs> How did I get there before? Weird. Because you don't need the spring, right? Oh, no, you I need don't... it to get up here. That's what you do. Okay. But how do you get up there? I can't jump high enough. Damn, Kelly. <laughs> now nah, nothing in chat. <laughs> We're enthralled by Kelly Kangaroo. Yeah, man. Uh, a lot of flicker, eh? Um, flicker would be. It's actually handling it pretty well. There, you can see there at the top. Yeah, because I see says... sometimes the the carrot main character is like sprays oh, apart. Like yeah, yeah. See, so you see 262, 263 it jumps to. Ah, yeah. If we were playing that on um, actual hardware... It would just straight the, up fail. The screen might cut out. It's pretty quick, so it may not. Maybe I can glitch it. Like, it looks like I can kind of get a boost if I put my head through this. But it's not going high, anywhere near high enough. You can't wall jump. So, oh, that's how you do it. Is that helpful? Not really. Now I can't get to it. <laughs> nice that you can kind of reset by just leaving the screen. It is good. So I think the... Uh... No, no, don't, don't go far back. The key is to go on the right side? Because there is no path to the left side. But it's I think so you kinda, quick. I think you kind of got to, like, jump onto the thing and then jump onto the other thing. I think that's the only way to do it. Oh. Like, get onto, like, the, 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 the like, um, the spider one and then instantly jump onto the one on the right. I don't know. It's so fast. It's the only way I can think of doing it. Like, go over to the right like jump on the spring go to the right and jump on the spider one and then and then onto the one on the right as fast as possible put you back like two screens oh, when God. the spider hits you 
It's a hard game. And you got a time limit too in this fucker. God damn. It's a pretty long time limit, but I've only got two strawberries. Or jump down, I guess. Like to the right. See, I should be able to okay. fall down. Can you wrap around the screen to the oh, left? Oh, try you that. You are so right. Yay! Oh, thank you. So oh much. God. It takes two people to figure this game out. That's the only way this shit happens. Nice. But now... Ooh. That brings you up that way. That's good. That's something different. Well, you got to get that strawberry, so you may as well get that. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, you may as well get the strawberry. I don't I don't know. Because you can do it. This you... is the only way now, yeah. Yeah, because you can just wait. Oh, yeah. Just drop wait and then go. Yeah, wait until he's like, yeah. Oh. Ah. At least I know how to do it now. Yeah. Okay, we got it. We got it. Hey, Styles Gaming. Welcome, Styles Gaming. We're playing Kelly Kangaroo, which is apparently safe for work. <laughs> so far. Which is hilarious. Okay. What? Damn. Oh. Ah. Just can't go too high, because then if I press... Yay! Okay, thank Three God. Three strawberries. Whew. Halfway there. Okay. Now... This isn't too hard now. No, because then you just wrap around and... Go. Keep going. Oh, go. oh, no, you have to go up the other way. Yeah. To go here again. And then up. And then up. And then wrap around. Make this jump. So annoying. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, no! Okay, so I have to go up to the left there. Because that ghost... Was... This shit ain't easy. No. It is not. No! Luckily, this is one of those games that once you figure it out, you can do it so much faster the second oh, time. so much faster. Like, my time would be... Okay, so let's take a look. I have to go up, left, left, because I can't jump up to the right. It's too too much of a jump. Yeah. So I have to go to the left, somehow avoid that ghost, which is rapidly coming well, down. almost close to impossible. <laughs> oh! Seriously? Off you go. Bye. <laughs> okay. What a, what a now love. what the hell do I do there? Whew, Kelly the kangaroo's having a tough time. Dude, I think I have to rethink that strategy on that level. That's all there is to do there. Unless there's another way around, which I don't see it. Yeah, you just go up to the left somehow. Oh, you can jump on his head. Yeah, you have That's to you, right. you gotta kill it, man. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, we get such, the a, wrong spot. such a little window to do it too. Yeah, you have to just do it. Move quickly. But I think I got it. I just jumped at the wrong time. Yes! But how does that help? Oh, no. Because <laughs> I have to go down and it resets him. Yeah, I can't, I can't make it up. And I don't think I can make it across because of this block. Okay. Okay. Nightmare. Oh. It's well designed to kind of troll you, this game. <laughs> it is. It's like, oh, you think you figured it out, huh? No, you didn't. The controls are really good. Like, I'm not, never fighting the That's controls. That's really good. For a game like this, they need to be. Okay, I don't have enough room. How to... 
Just go for the jump to the left and see if you can jump on his head. I mean, that's the only way. Yeah. I can't think of any other way to do this. No. Damn. Damn. Graphics are amazing. The controls are amazing. The level design is super challenging. Oh my god. Um, and in creative. Enemies are super creative. Kangaroo's adorable. Okay. Now, how did I get him? Okay. How am I gonna do that? He goes straight down. The other side, he kind of stops a bit. Yeah. And then I can jump over him. But on that side, he comes straight yeah, down. Yeah, it's 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 very, it's very suspicious. It is. But I can't. If I go to the right, I can't make it over to the left. Oh, Atari's been here the whole time. Yeah. I feel like he knows that like We're both. Messed up, messed so he's up like. Today. Okay. Yeah, when I was sick, he was such a sweetheart. Oh. He's he's a nice cat, you know. Oh, Styles Gaming. Um, what am I gonna do here? And I can't outrun him because I've jumped to the left and jumped immediately, and you hit him. Yeah, I don't know. Right like, I know it's jumping on him is the key. <laughs> oh. I don't know what to do. And we're back. Help! Anybody? Yeah, anyone got ideas? How to defeat this ghost? <gasps> there we That's go! That's how you do it. Thank you God. use him as leverage. Okay, so... There's only one path. It's up to the right. Well, Oh, Starberry's over there. Oh, God, he comes back. Um, so I should be able to make it up and around. In theory. And then I have to go... No, I can still survive. At least we got it. <sighs> oh, God. <laughs> Bat. Oh, he's random? No. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, and it brings us back to here? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Nightmare. Well, at least we figured out something. Yeah. Oh. Oh, what? Did they touch me? Oh, yeah, my he God. Did. The alert enemy sighted sound. Yep. Oh. Damn. It didn't reset me. I just fell, luckily. It's funny because those ledges are so narrow. It's. Oh, thank God. Like, you can't stay on them, you have to jump off of them. Oop! Wrong timing. I'm curious what the one on the left sends us to. Uh. Um. It's a wraparound screen. Must be. So there is no. Oh, what did I do? Oh, I went up the wrong way. Oh my god. Yeah, there is only up. There is no ah. left or right, so. Jesus, I have to jump earlier than that. Ah! How you doing over there? Oh, I'm doing okay. <laughs> I'm a little, I'm in like, like a fair amount of pain, but oh, it's all God. good, man. But I guess you'd be in pain no matter where you were, or is there a more comfortable position? Like. Yeah, I think if I were laying down, it would be a bit easier. Uh... But that's all right. It's all good. Oh 
Uh, right now we gotta beat Kelly the kangaroo. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Damn it, we're so close. At least it has some save points, I guess. But this one is annoying, the save point where they put you. Way back, so you have to go do a bunch of annoying stuff. Yeah, this is like... Yes! No. <laughs> The secret that I find is jump, like start jumping and then time the jump after because yeah. it's hard to jump and time it. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. So he doesn't go after you. He kind of... Damn it. He just flies around. He's just random. Oh, I'm on the score. <laughs> hey. I saw, finally saw it. Remember when he said you can hop on the score sometimes? We need a checkpoint, like seriously, guys. Yeah, a better checkpoint. Give us a goddamn. <laughs> nope. This time, it. Oh. Thanks for putting it's it like there. It's like you just ran. It's like you get like a one in like four sh chance, it's yeah. like a random of dice roll. Be. for the bat. You don't even have to kill the bat. You don't have to. Oh. You just have to avoid the bat if possible, but it's probably safer if you kill him. But then you can't exit the screen accidentally. Oops. Oh, that's good. Yay! Okay, I've got good. that one pretty good now. Yeah, it's like once you figured out the trick. Yeah. I think that's this whole game. Well, not this level. This is not the trick. That's the one I don't like. You can't do anything about it. Like, I just jump on the screen and die. I feel like you I get no one control. go where he for sure doesn't mm. go, and then and then you get, like, a random... So I should just be prepared to Yeah, you have. I think you have to, like, not... Oh. <laughs> Bloody hell! This goddamn level, man. The funny thing is I know what to do. Like, this bat, bat, you just kill it and go. Like, it's not a trick. It's just annoying and hard. All the other stuff was like, you have to figure out what to do. This one is like... I guess we're closing in on, like, the last one, right? So... Is there four or six? Six is well, the... We've got three, so not really. No, we got four right now. No. Don't we? One, two, three, four. Yeah, because you only get one. Well, that one I had three tries, and on the third, it's, it is random. It's a really challenging game. Yeah, what a tough <laughs> one, man. It's Kelly. <laughs> but it's definitely one of those games that I will defeat at yes. some point. May not be today, because <laughs> this is frustrating as hell. I just need to def No. <laughs> I just need to get to a next checkpoint. Yeah. I wonder if there even is one, though. Oh, I bet, at some point. Man, it's probably after this bat level. It might be based on strawberries. Like, the next strawberry you get, okay, that's the next... It has to be, actually. It has to be, yeah. Yeah, just jump. Just... Oh, okay. Just, just go for it. Yeah. 
trying to kill him, but I don't know if that's a good I think you just strategy. gotta escape. Just go for it. Because cause trying to kill him is it's dicey. Hard. So fast. He kind of has a pattern, but he doesn't. He changes it a little bit. I thought it was safe there. It's not. Stop it! Kelly is very quick horizontally. Kelly! Ugh. Which leads to slipping off ropes. Is that you snoring, Atari? That's funny. <laughs> ah! Oh, no. Okay, people. This is a Groundhog Day. I'm going to maybe continue this game another day uh, very shortly. <laughs> Actually, no, I'll let the timer run out. Yeah, that's yeah. the that's the way to do it. Yeah. So then at least we see what happens when the time runs out, because we're pretty close to the having the time run out anyway. It's good to know that like the timer thing. Well, the reality of this game is that you can probably get to this point fairly easily with the, loads of time. I can now for sure. Now that you know the trick. Yeah, I know all the tricks. So I'm gonna definitely schedule this game for an upcoming show. Yeah, cause. I'm trying to just fall off the edge so I can re-prepare. 83 seconds Kelly left. sometimes looks like a like a sea turtle. Oh no, what, what do you call it? The, not a sea, sea turtle. Horse. Sea horse. Yeah. Yeah. From yeah. the it's this is more lizard style, and then occasionally there's a seahorse. Yeah, without the legs. Yeah, when it's like moving. Stop it! Why does it catch on that ledge that I can't do anything on? Uh, half of a ledge. No. 66 seconds. Not that I can go anywhere. 66 seconds. I'm just going to die, but... We, but we want to see what this thing is. Yeah. Stop it. Okay. Yeah, Yay, okay. close, though. 54 seconds. Oh, they're not really seconds, but... Yeah, it's like... They're close to seconds. Just go for that it. That time. <laughs> that's death, just, that's instant just death. fucking instant. That's cheap. It's that's the only thing I'd change. I mean, I think yeah. it's not fun when you can't like you you it's like it's just a toss of the dice. That bat should always start the top left. And it's random after that anyway, so why not do that? If the developer's listening. <laughs> hey, where where's the developer? I did message them on their Twitter. Again! Yeah, it's about... Each number is about two seconds, I think. Yeah. Thank God we figured out this ghost, though. That was rough. That was a challenge. And it's not straightforward, really. Like, come on, Ke come on, Kelly. There we go. Just you wait. You're gonna Red. fucking wreck this bat. <laughs> yeah, when I have seven seconds. Yeah, I, I wish, but I didn't. <laughs> not gonna even make it back. Yeah, I'm gonna wreck the bat. Oh, oh, heartbreak. Oh, your love is uh... gone. Wow, 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 what a challenging game. Here's a, I don't know if you need this still. Oh, uh, no, I think I'm think I'm done with that. So that was, uh, that was really good. That was really a good game, good though. Game. A lot of good games today. Yeah. So what did we play today? We played the end. Brilliant, great Absolutely. start. Um, I'm glad he was in the chat today um, to get some feedback from the from everybody here and us to you know develop his game further hopefully he got some good information uh we got the heist a very challenging really, game. really good game though damn yeah. really really good game a lot of great variations as well marble madness uh ambitious as hell yeah um i guess a pretty good translation oh they so want the far. update on your console oh yeah sorry i was so engrossed in kelly uh, Kelly Kangaroo. As it should be. But... Um, so, I did post about it in the, not the update, but I posted earlier, a couple weeks ago, 
about Darcy and I testing it. Yeah. And the power output um, coming from the, I oh, wish I knew the name of it now, uh, power distributor, I think, inside of it. It was getting really low levels, like minuscule low levels. Um, but then Thomas Yench, I think, said, I think it was him, said, oh, have you tested your power supply? I was like, no, I actually didn't test my power <laughs> supply. And then I went back and tested my power supply, like just like, you know, the normal power supply from the wall into it. And it was, it was getting some power to this, but nothing, like almost nothing. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, that could, it couldn't be that. That'd be ridiculous. Um, and it wasn't, unfortunately. I, yeah, that would have been awesome. Yeah. I, and I, cause I already tried that. I, I plugged it my non-working one with a bunch of these and it, yeah. it wasn't bad. Um, but coincidentally, the one that was working previous on multiple systems, all of a sudden during testing failed. And that's, that's what prompted that. Thomas Yance said, yeah, test your power supply. It, it was bad. It went bad during testing, Damn. which is ridiculous. It's like multiple issues, uh, which does not help. So I got a good working one, plugged it in again, it gave a lot more power to the power distributor inside, um, but not enough. There are two um, voltage regulator. That's what it is. Voltage Thanks, Thrust. Regulator. So there's a voltage regulator inside the Atari 2600. The one that comes with it is like a super, super simple one. It has like three leads from it. I think one is ground, one is five volts, one is 11. Um, the RGB board gives you a um a new voltage regulator uh still outputs the same amount um it has a capacitor in it as well to regulate the voltage a bit more i think so it's very steady um it was outputting 2.5 volts on both of those instead of 5 it was 2.5 and instead of 11 it was 2.5 so that's the first thing that your atari gets yeah like it feeds everything else so that has failed Definitely that has failed. Now the big question, and I'm going to get in touch with the RGB uh, manufacturer. Do I need your special upgrade board? Yeah. Or can I put, because I have, I have a, a voltage regulator on standby, a yeah. normal one um, that came with the refresh kit. Can I use a normal one with the RGB? I know the answer is going to be no. Yeah, but because you... why would he supply this super expensive fancy one with chips on it and a capacitor? Like, yeah, if he could just if he could just use the cheap one that costs almost nothing. Um, so I know he's going to say no. You shouldn't use that. It may work for a bit, but it's not steady enough. It'll cut out because I'm guessing the RGB board needs like constant power, like steady, steady power. Uh, voltage regulator circuit board in Tim's RGB mod. Yes. Um, so that is the next step. I need to replace that. Yeah. So most likely I'm going to have to order away. He does have a U.S. distributor and you can order from Australia as well. Will he sell me just that part? Probably not, but you'll see. Maybe because the whole kit's like a hundred bucks. Wow. And that part is not the expensive part. Uh, it's the it's the actual board that translates into RGB. That's going to be the expensive part. He's... The Australia one is sold out. I can't remember if the U.S. distributor is sold out as well if the whole kit. Um, maybe just that part is not sold out and I can get that, yeah. hopefully. But that is the, at least the first step. I can't imagine multiple failures going in. like, And that explains actually a lot. Maybe it's an off-the-shelf part. That's good news. The voltage man. regulator? Oh, I suppose to Can you message me information on that um the off the shelf part that i can get wherever it is because yeah, it's special like you've seen the pictures of if it. you could fix it, it has man, a, that would be... <laughs> yeah fix it as well no, no i no. can fix it it's only a couple of solder joints it's not that bad um oh what was i gonna say um that explains a lot if that had failure throughout because that's what we always theorized the problem was that it didn't have enough power to power the rgb board plus the harmony cart on its on its next step like doing yeah. the extreme stuff the big games um so that kind of makes a lot of sense if that was always failing like we installed a, a failing part because we never measured that we just put it in and yeah it's working great why would we measure something if it's something's working 
Hindsight's so, 2020. I know, but we're not, you know, electrical people yeah, and yeah. electronic experts. So, so that is where we are with that. Maybe if I suppose it says it's an off the shelf part, we can get That'd it repaired awesome, real quick. If it is a little bit more complex, um, I know the voltage regulator circuit. Yeah. The normal one is off the shelf. I have one, but the RGB one, I do not have. So yes, please, I suppose to get in touch with me. So that is the update on the Atari 2600. I really want to get that back into. into yeah. So we can just do that stuff again, you know, play it on a real system with real cartridges and just get back into business. Cause it feels like, you know, I'm cheating you guys yeah. not by playing the real thing, the real thing. Cause that's why I started this show is i got that special rgb 2600 to to, to do make this it, to do it make it look really good and give you an authentic experience um but we'll we'll get back in business now that i know exactly what it is i just need to send some information to um tim if it is not an off-the-shelf part and get a new one soldered yeah. in it's a couple hours work did you see the pick of the one uh, i added on the outside of my 7800 I did not. Oh, very cool. That's excellent. So that's great information for my supposed to see the community. Yeah, out. dude. Everybody's people come, people helping out. In and... and if you weren't here, we uh, at the beginning of the show we did. I did announce the ninety-nine percent chance date of the Atari Awards. It is on February first, twenty twenty. Um, the awards have arrived. They're at my um, Dropbox. U.S. Dropbox. I'm going to pick them up probably this Saturday. Probably do that. And he's an extreme pain, so we're going yeah. to head out of here. Yeah. We're going to sign off. So thanks Thank for you. hanging out with yeah, us. Man. I'm just going to read the names off really quick and uh, say thanks to everybody for joining in. Uh, Raymond C., thank you for um, letting us play your game, the end. Uh, Thrust26, I supposed to Styles Gaming for jumping in. Jumping in. RC7E, DS Kilos. Uh, Nathan Strom, Strom, Splendid Nut, all the regulars. S. Ramirez, man, so many good people. Milton Buddhist, Carl G, TX Marsh. Hey. There we go. Welcome. Uh, he did the heist. That's excellent. Oh, he gave the... Uh, oh, he gave some info, gave too, info, which is yeah. so good. Because you read that out, and um, I didn't uh, look over at the name. Uh, yeah, thanks for making good games, friends. Yeah, thank you. Uh, PH4, we've dubbed you. <laughs> It's just uh, easier, sorry. Much easier than reading out numbers and letters that don't really make anything. Uh, Deanoid was Deanoid. here. Oh, Pac-Man Red. Pac-Man Red, who's an expert on graphics, 2600 graphics. Beautiful. Wow. Along with the guy who did the Marble Madness graphics, those two guys, the best. Some of the best out there. Um, there's a lot of other great people, but those guys just so good. Uh, who else? I think we ran out of chat. Scroll back. Turns plus five into nine volt for the Atari. The RGB right here is doing something similar. Oh, cool. Cool, man. Um, so we're signing off. I just want to quickly say what I'm going to be playing on Friday. We've got some games lined up. Hope you both feel better soon. I am totally fine in comparison to him. Yeah, uh, man. I'm, I'm going to go up. lay down on some ice. It's yeah. the plan. We're going to be playing Water Diver. Brand new game. It just came out. We're going to be playing uh, Primate Plunge and might be playing uh, uh, Activision. I almost said ColecoVision. <laughs> An Activision game and challenging uh, one of the patches, maybe. We'll see. If not, I'll fill in another game. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So thanks for joining us, everyone, once again. And I'll see you on Friday. I'll see you next Wednesday. Sounds good. I'll be back Friday with Tanya, I believe. Yeah. 6 p.m.? Yeah. 6 p.m. with Tanya. So thanks for hanging out, and thank you for uh, bearing with the show. Yeah, man, my pleasure. <laughs> I got to do it. Yeah. Um, thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. See you on Friday, and you'll see him next Wednesday. Bye-bye. Oh, bye, Deanoid. Don't know if we said his name. Bye. Oh.